It is verse number 19 in Vilafa Kushmandra. So all the all the translations are set so far? Yes, ma'am. All is set. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Actually, today uh, Gopal wanted to read, but the children wouldn't let him read. So <laughs> he is apologizing. He would love to see you all. But he will come next time, he said. <clears throat> Okay, then I start reading text number 19 from Shishi Vilapa Kusmanjali. O oh, Babini, beautiful or emotional girl. When can I diligently Bring clay mixed with camphor along with scented water into your room. Wash your lotus like feet with a stream of this water in a place suitable for washing your lotus feet and dry them with my hair. Oh, Bhavini, beautiful or emotional girl. When can I diligently? Diligently means with eagerness, very uh, active, not tired. When I can, when can I diligently bring clay mixed with camphor? along with scented water into your room. Wash your lotus-like feet with a stream of this water in a place suitable for washing your lotus feet and dry them with my hair. So as I remember reading this verse for Gurudev, he would always stop already at the first word, Obhavini. And then Gurudev, you always explain how Srimati Radhika is so emotional. Because her whole body and her existence is emotions. Bhav. And also her maidservants, they are full of these emotions because they are always together with Swamini and they feel what she feels. So this morning service, this is a Pratta in the morning, Pratta Seva. <coughs> The morning sevas are very confidential because we can see also and we can hear that here this is Swamini and one maidservant. And ideally, when I read this, I will be the one seeing it and feeling it. Although Raghunadasko Swami is doing this service in his meditation, in her meditation, all those of us who have yeah, this desire to do it, we also will feel what they feel. Jai Guri! Uh, Radhe, Radhe! Radhe! I'm here. Thank you, Guri. Thank you for Radhe, being here. Yeah. I go down again. Yeah. yeah. It's perfect.
So I read it again for you, Gurdi. Oh, Bhavani, beautiful or emotional girl, when can I diligently, means very eager, bring clay mixed with camphor along with scented water into your room? Wash your lotus like feet with a stream of this water in a place suitable for washing your lotus feet and dry them with my hair. I was just remembering, Gurudev, you always say, Bhavini, stop here, stop right here. What is the meaning of Bhavini? She is full of emotions, overflowing emotions. And so are her maidservants. And why is she so, so full of emotions? Because she just came back from the meeting with her beloved Mohan. It is in the early morning. And the whole night they were together, assisted by all the girls, you know, the maidservants. And when she comes back and she is alone at home in the morning hours, she is still living in her emotions. When she was together with Mohan, she is uh, the reservoir of all emotions. And she is the one that only can be served with emotions. That's why this name of Shimati Radhika, Bhavini, is so important. And diligently also means that this maidservant, she is so very busy and eager and she likes to do it. She is not tired. She is not uh, lazy. She is eager. And why is it this camphor? Good if I was feeling this camphor is cooling. So this camphor with clay, is such a nice aroma, cooling Swamini down in her emotions because now emotions come of separation. And at the same time, remembering the pastimes, the Leela that were going on just recently. And then the washing of the lotus-like feet is something that is also very, very personal and very um, emotional. Because in these feet is all her baths, all her feelings. And the maidservants, they love Shimati Radhika so much that she doesn't even want to dry them with a towel or anything, but with her hair. <coughs> and yeah. why, would, why with the hair, Gurudev? Because mm -hmm. Swamini's hair is made of Krishna's emotion. It's all, each hair is one emotion for Mohan, one ecstasy. So I figured, Gurudev, each hair of the Maid servant is one ecstasy for Shrimati Radhika. It's all her feelings for Swami. Yes. Yeah. That is. So she wants to dry her lotus feet with her feelings that are soft and very uh, deep and very uh, also full of memories <clears throat> and full of aspirations for her devotional service. Also, also, if I may, also, um, Radhe Radhe, Jai Gurudev. Also, also, the word Bhavini and this uh, the seva is also very important for the sadhakas. Like you wonderfully said, of course, Radhika's body is made of bath, and the Kingari's body is made of bath. So, for the sadhaka who needs to be in sadhaka avesh, it is also very important. All Raganuka Bhakti Sadhana is actually only about bhav. Like Gurudev always says, everything should be done with feeling, with bhav. So here Raghunadas Goswami is giving a very, this name to Radhika also to show us that we also have to come in our bhav, in our sthai fixed bhav, in our manjari bhav, because Vamini is, is made, her, her body is made of bhav and also our Sita Deha, 
is made of bhav. So our bhav, which we have in our heart, our material bhav, must be transformed into a spiritual bhav. And this washing with the hair also has a very deep impact for the sadhaka. It is, like you said, wonderfully on the spiritual level, uh, the kingery of, of uh, uh, Raghunathas Goswami, Radhi Manchari, uh, Tulsi Manchari, her hair is like the ecstasy giving to Radhika. But for the sadhaka, it means to wash someone's hair, someone's feet with one's own hair. That means humility. So Raghunathas Goswami is saying, if you want to go, if you want to have a body like Swamini, Bhavani, if you want to go deep in that bath, you have to be humble. You have to do such a menial service like washing the feet with your hair. I mean, look in the world. Nobody will do this. Nobody will. You, the hair is a sign of pride, of vanity. Nobody will use the hair. I don't have hair, <laughs> but women or men with long hair, they will never give their hair away to wash the feet of anyone. So this means also by deep and true humility, we can, we can achieve that path. That was what I was feeling. Yeah, so nice. Thank you, Tarun. And this is also how Baba starts the first sentences in his purport. He says, The service of Sri Radha Rani is not like the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. It is the service of ecstatic love personified. So this morning I was meditating about this subject, of course. And who is the Supreme Personality of Godhead? It is that aspect of Krishna when he is governing the whole universes and he is in charge of all the matters in his different aspects. As Vishnu, he is the maintainer. And, you know, there's Brahma and Shiva, and they are all, you know, under the control of the Supreme Personality of God. That is the kind of God that he, he does not exist in that form in Goloka Vrindavan. Krishna, he is the one that is playing the flute, he is uh, milking the cows, and he is stealing the butter from the gopis. He is a very playful personality. He is just like one of us, Lokik Sambandavart. That is the human-like uh, games that Krishna wants to enjoy there. And Shimati Radhika is his heart. So she is guiding him, he, she is uh, helping. Her whole existence is made from this beautiful desire to make him forget that he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, even to such an extent that she will take control of him through her love. That's why also we have heard so many times that Krishna can only be controlled by love. Because everything else is already under his control, right? So the service of Srimati Radhika is not like serving uh, Lakshmi or Narayan in Vaikuntha. It is a service that requires, as Sue so nicely said, these feelings to feel them. To feel them, how they feel, what is required in their services. That is the service of the of our bhavini, of the one who is full of bhav. Good. If how we get this path, 
<laughs> it's always the same question. We want to find out how to get this path, right? That is our desire. We want to be in the feelings and not only in the understanding, in the head. Just on this, Woody. Or maybe he cannot hear us. Yes, yeah, some guests are there, no problem. But actually, a few days ago, I was with Gurudev and all the devotees there. Thank you, Gopinath. Nice cookies, I suppose. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and then I realized again, what was missing in myself is only the more emotion. And then where do we get these emotions? We get them from Gurudev. We have emotions from those who have and live in these emotions. That's why we are reading this Vilapakush Manjali and hearing from our brothers and sisters who are also practicing these deep emotional bhajans. This is the only way to, to advance in Raganuga Bhakti because it's nothing by some book knowledge. It cannot be grasped. It can only be felt, and usually it is transferred from one heart to the other. Anyone would like to share on this? How to get these bhavs, these deep emotions for Swamini or for her maidservants? Radhe, Radhe. Uh, actually, I think altogether you and Tarun Baba, Zuni DDD, um, you already explained delightedly means something like you really want. You're really happy to do that seva. And you're going there actually with bath. And when you take your hair and clean Radharani's lotus feet, that means this is the way the bhav is coming. Mahabhav is coming from the feet, through the hair, to your head, into your heart. And then the manjari actually is giving it to the next one who is serving her. So actually this way is very clear, shown in a very nice picture by this seva we can actually get this bath. And who are the servants of this Tulasi Mandari? Our Guru Mandari. And in this way, the Mandaris are giving it to us in their mercy when we serve them. So the bath is actually taking this line of uh, emotions coming to us down. At least this is my limited understanding of this in connection with this verse. But there are more elevated persons who can share more on that, on that topic. Yes, it is true, Govarvani, what you say. And I can only say for myself and my experience, I'm always begging for this. To get the feelings, it's also a mercy. Because it can only be induced by extreme desire and patience, you know. 
and also at the same time patience with eagerness that is an interesting combination right that i always like to meditate on <laughs> because it seems to be very uh, contradictory a lot of eagerness with a lot of yeah patience or humility like you said because uh, in the hum in the hum humble state of mind i don't expect i just I am open to receive. And this morning I had also one uh, thing that I was pondering in my mind. What is the difference between the soul consciousness and the consciousness of a Darcy? Because we often hear that first meet is to be in soul consciousness but gurudev also you once said to me to be always in the soul consciousness is also not enough it doesn't help the soul knows that it's eternal and everything is eternal and all is going on by the supreme lord's uh, mercy by the mercy of shrimati radhika but the soul itself is not in that state very active it's just perceiving but the dasi she becomes active she wants the service of ecstatic love personified would if are you again ready to to share something with us about well, how to perceive how to to okay. open for love beautiful Hmm. In the soul, uh, we have to bring bhav. Yes. First, we have to be prakriti, and then when we are prakriti, automatic bhav will come because we are so dachi. Purusha viman will go out. And then, naturally, as per wish, we become Radha Das. Mm -hmm. By the so grace, desire, we, by navigator. This is coming because my navigator nav navigates like this. I have no idea before, but what <laughs> I can do, my navigator say, say that this is the fastest route I am moving in that way. Yes. I am not a doer. I am following my navigator, my guru there. That's the only way of passing. Right, Tarun Baba. Very wonderful, Gurudev. Very wonderful. Without the mercy of Gurudev and the Vaishnavas, I was just looking, it's not possible, I was just looking for this very wonderful verse you always you always quote sadaka rena sita you know the sadaka rupena chatrahi this wonderful wonderful verse when we oh, how we want I found, yes, I found it seva sadaka rupena sita rupena chatrahi tad bhava lipsu nakarya bracha lokana sut sura saratha bhakti rasamrita sinru 1 to 295 so I found this when you when you how you want when we ask how do we get this behalf, Shila Rupa Kuswami is saying, following after the inhabitants of Bracha. And for us, who are those? Always good if you're saying Rupa Manchari and Rati Manchari. So those are the inhabitants, we Manchari Bhav Sadakas. We we should follow. So following after the inhabitants of Bracha, Rupa, Rati Manchari, one should perform service in one's physical body and in one's sitta body with a desire for that particular bhav 
So we can only get this path when we follow someone who already has this path. Like Gurudev, you know, so wonderfully said, we can only get this if there's a, if there's a candle has light, how can we light another candle? Only with the fire of one candle. So we can only get this beautiful bath from someone who has this beautiful bath. And we are so lucky that you are here and Baba in his books and he's still present with us. So this path can only come to us by someone who already has it, that particular, particular bath. And we are very lucky. Thank you. Soon we will sit with you, Gurudev. I am counting the days. <laughs> Waiting for days, only a few days. Yes, counting. Yeah. yeah. My Govinda Priya is there. Gurudev. Right. <laughs> Okay, should I continue reading? Mm -hmm. Please. So, the service of Sri Radharani is not like the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Jaiho. Jaiho. <laughs> it is another kind. It is the service of ecstatic love personified. <coughs> In his Premamboja Maranda Stavaraja, Sri Raghunadas has written Mahabhavochvala Chinta Ratno Dabhavita Vigraha. Her form is born from the glistening thought gem of Mahabhav. <laughs> So that sentence itself is already mind blowing. No? Her form, Srimati Radhika's form, is born from the glistening thought gem of Mahabhav. So I feel when I read it, because I think there's many ways how to feel this, that Srimati Radhika's body is made of Chintamani is made of this ecstatic love that will fulfill every desire of Mohan, whether he has accepted it or uh, thought about it or not. He, she is just the personification of his all desires and fulfilling these desires. That is how her form was born. So it is like Mahabhav is a glistening thought gem, means Mahabhav itself is the desire or the ability to fulfill all of Krishna's desire. And when that uh, culmination of ecstasy becomes a form, it's Srimati Radhika. So that is a nice meditation, maybe also for Bhajan. <coughs> Mahabhava Chintamani Radhara Swarup. This is from Chaitanya Chaitamrita. Yeah, that is the Sanskrit uh, equivalent. Mahabhava Chintamani. The Chintamani, the touchstone of Mahabhav, is the Swarup of Srimati Radhika. Where are the insignificant living entities? And where is that Mahabhav? Again, Chaitanya Chaitamita is quoted. Ladi nira sara anksa sara prema nam. Ananda chinmaya rasa premera akyam. Premera Paramasara Mahababa Johnny Say Mahababa Rupa Radha Takurani. That is the description of Chaitanya Chaitamrita of who is 
and what is the essence of Srimati Radhika. So here was also a very, very important word, the Ladini. So mm -hmm. Ladini Shakti, that is the most important Shakti of the Lord, Ladini Shakti. And Radhika is the personification of that Shakti. And only we can, we can only realize our true self, our mantra form, by the combination of Ladini Shakti and Sambit Shakti. So the power of love, Ladini, and the power of feeling, of beautiful love, and the knowledge who I am. So these two combined is Bhakti. So who I am, I am a Manjari. And uh, this uh, Ladini Shakti, the inner potency, the pleasure, the pleasure giving potency, this beautiful loving energy combined with who I am, with knowing our Stai Bhav, this combination is called Bhakti and only by this power, by this bhakti, which is coming from Srimati Radhika. Bhakti is coming from her lotus feet. So only by this combination of these two, we can realize that the manjari is for Vladini Shakti is the most, most powerful ingredient. Yes, thank you, Tarun. That is exactly what it says here. The essential portion of the Lord's pleasure potency is named Prema. Love of God. And that prema is known to consist of blissful transcendental flavors. The quint essence of prema is Mahabhav. And the personification of that Mahabhav is the goddess Radha. Therefore, for engaging in the service of Sri Radha, one must adopt a favorable mood. So this is what we are trying, right? We're trying to adopt a favorable mood. And for that, like you said, Tarun and also if we need navigator because we don't even know what it means to develop this favorable mood. Because out of my habit from before many lifetimes and this lifetime, I know how to adopt a favorable mood for myself, for this all existence, what I have here, how to survive, how to have a good life, how to please myself, my senses and my family. Like this, I know, but how to adopt a favorable mood in the service of Sri Radha, that's a completely different dimension. So the whole, the whole meaning, the whole meaning of performing all angas of bhakti, the whole meaning of sadhana bhakti coming to bhava bhakti, coming to brema bhakti. So the whole meaning of sadhana bhakti is that to make the mind favorable, for bhakti to make the mind the friend to make the mind favorable because originally since millions of years the mind is not favorable so the whole process of chapa of diksha of smaranam is to make the mind favorable and every one of us we every morning we know that the mind doesn't want to get up the mind doesn't want to surrender the mind doesn't want this the mind doesn't want that so this whole process of sadhana bhakti is meant to make the mind favorable. And now comes a very wonderful point. You can do this for 50 years with Vaidhi Bhakti and nothing will happen. Nothing. But if you are under the tutelage and the guidance of a Raganuga sadhana bhakti like Gurudev or Baba or Narayan Maharaj or Prabhupada, it goes very, very quick if we are attentive enough. So this is the mercy of Raganuga Bhakti that all the process of making the mind favorable is much more powerful than with rituals and with Vaidhi, only because it's depending on the mercy. So this is a very, very, very interesting point that on the Raga Mark, on Raganuga Bhakti, this process to make the mind fa more favorable is not by following the rules and regulations, but by input of the sweetness, like we do now reading, 
of, of Radha and Krishna in Vilapa and Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi and the songs of the Mahachans. So this, for me, was a very big difference growing up in Vaidhi Bhakti and not making any advancement, but then coming to Baba and coming to Sadhu Maharaj and coming to Narayan Maharaj, you could feel that something is going on. There is a transformation going on, which is much more powerful. So this we should always keep in mind that, 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 that this gives us hope that Raga Marga is so powerful if we are very careful. Radhe Radhe, my sweet sisters and Gurudev, Radhe. It's such a sweet point we speak about this bath. And um, when uh, I was in, in Mongemandia now the last days, I again, I understood that the first step is to, to come under the that we understand that we are a soul and not un only understand, but that we feel this. And the next step, what you say uh, is uh, favorable to go in the uh, senses, in the spiritual senses. Because on the soul level, we cannot exchange these loving feelings because this is more or less a beautiful state of neutral neutrality. neutrality. So we understand we are not the body and uh, we can give up the false ego that we create in between our lifetime. And then many times we spoke in the last days about the monkey mind. And uh, this monkey mind is only working in the false ego. And we know <clears throat> the conflicts that we get are when two monkey minds come together, what is the nature of the monkeys? <clears throat> you can see in, in, in Vrindavan very nicely. If there is only one monkey, he is very peaceful. But as in that moment there is a second monkey, they will fight. And the same is when there are two false egos, they will fight. If there is only one, maybe one person is without false ego, there is not the nature of fighting. We can see by the, by the saints, they are out of the false ego. If you meet there, this is the same as if you have a, a small child. A small child, when it's got taking birth, it is so sweet. There is zero false ego. And everyone who meet this child like to embrace. Because there is no fighting, there is love. And so the first step also that what Prabhupada always said is to understand that we are not the body. That means to give up the false ego. That's the same meaning. But then what we learn from Gurudev is to growing, creating spiritual senses. To do that, we have to understand who we really are. And in that moment, we know who we really are. <clears throat> we can develop our spiritual senses. In our case, we are manjaris. So, and we can, growing in this meditation, that we have spiritual senses to exchange with our Swamini, with other gopis and sakis and other manjaris. And this is, for me, 
the favorable uh, uh, moment, that mood. mood, mood that we get. And actually, what I can also feel is that there is a treasure in our heart where this mood is locked. It is there, but it's locked because of the false ego. And the one who gives the key to open this lock is our Guru Manjari. She will give, she is freely giving the key to us. And it's only that we have to open the treasure and then it will grow easily because it's in our heart. Love is there, but it's blocked by the false ego because we're thinking, oh, I'm this and that in this material world, very important. No, I'm, I don't know, whatever. And I have to create my own kingdom around me. And it is so sweet to see how this works in our community also, how this growing is, is continuing in the, especially in Munge Mandir, you can see how Bhakti is living there. And uh, yes, I, Tarun, I, I only can say, so I'm, I'm so sorry that I cannot guide you again. Yeah? Guide you? No, I mind begleiten. Begleiten. <laughs> A company. A company. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. Next time. Next yes, time. Yes, yes, yes. So Devi also, she was with us there. Beautiful. So I wanted also to say that what Korasundra just said is so nice that, you know, you, we really need two things. We need the Bhakti Lata Beach from our beloved Gurudev because our heart is a fertile field for that wonderful Bhakti Lata Beach. And when this comes into our heart from the Parampara, from Gurudev to Gurudev to Gurudev directly into our heart, so this seed will be received by a fertile field. Shiva Goswami is calling it a fertile field. So the seed comes into our heart and the love can grow when we water that seed so nicely with bhakti. And then the second most important thing after the Bhakti Lada Beach is when Gurudev is revealing to us the Sita Deya because without knowing who we are, there cannot be any development from sadhana bhakti to bhava bhakti. This is not possible without knowing who we really are. Without knowing the Sita Deha, we will not find the way from soul consciousness to manjari consciousness. It will not be possible. So Gurudev is the essential key. He brings us to the lotus feet of Swamini by giving us this information of the Sita Deha. That is so mu very much important. It seems that Suniti is is vanished, right? Can anyone see Suniti? It's not there. Goras Kuranga Sundara, say something. Share some nectar. Radhe, 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 Radhe. I can read something. Yes. I can read something which is Underlining my version of Vilapa Kusumanjali. And uh, it's, uh, it's verse 62 from commentary of Anatta Das Babaji. And it said, Dormant desires for devotion can be awakened in the hearts of devotees who have similar feelings. Dormant desire of devotion, like Gora Sundar and you said, there is a dormant love which is present in the soul, but it should be awakened. 
in desirable mood. The next, although Sridas Goswami maybe is not able to awaken his listeners' emotions to the same extent as his, he is still able to water the seeds in their hearts, making them fit for such desires to fructify in them. Although Shidas Goswami, Raguna Das, is not able to awaken his listeners' emotions to the same extent as his, he is still able to water the seeds in their hearts, making them fit for such desires to fructify in them. The more devotees hear and read the words of Dasa Goswami, the more seed of their dormant love of God will fructify and grow. This is the effect that Vibhava has on the listener. So it's very clearly written. Usually I don't remember in which places of Vilapa, but I have, with red plumaster, I have underlined this. And it's very clearly written that proper listening with proper emotions will awaken this dormant love. And by listening the words of our Acharyas, like you said, and also our present Acharyas, like Gurudev, Anantadas Babaji, Nar Maharaj, Prabhupada, and so on, with proper listening and acceptance of what they are talking, this bhav will gradually develop, develop in the heart of sadaka and awaken already present love, but in a dormant state of existence. So this listening, this shravanam, is essential part of all practice. And if devotee is open, with open heart, he is listening and accepting the words of Acharyas. Then Bhajan, then Smaran, then all other activities can go in a proper direction. And not only that, the proper Bhava, his desirable Bhava, will grow in his heart. When Bhava desire uh, emotions, spiritual emotions, in a mood, in our case, in Manjari Bhava mood, grows activity, cheshta, service, will simultaneously go with these emotions in a proper mood. So emotions and activity has to be favorable. That we can offer it to Shimati Radhika and her lover in a proper mood. And only way, as I understand, I am trying to practice and accept it, is to really follow the emotions of Acharyas, Rasik devotees, or like you said, inhabitants of Vrindavana. Because by strong connection with them, the heart of Sadaka will be infused with their bhav. And automatically they will know what to do, how to do, in which mood to do some seva. So this is some kind of practice, but also I can see here advice of Baba. 
that seed of dormant love must be watered by proper listening of this sweet kata, sweet words, powerful words, in this case of Raghunath. And some, in some other places, Baba is saying that each syllable is and word is like a powerful mantra. What is this power, actually? It's not mystic power. It's melting the heart, preparing the heart with proper emotions, so that Sadaka can approach his beloved Ishtadev in a proper mood. So, I just wanted to say that. And Radirat. Sorry. It seems we have no one to continue reading. Sunidhi, are you there? Oh, yes. We are back. Right. Very we good. had a Very electricity good. loss. We had a breakdown here. Storm. 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 Stormy weather. Okay. Thank you also. Ranga Sunna for sharing. So I, I continue to read then. Did you already continue something, Tawud? No. Okay. Therefore, for engaging in the service of Sri Radha, one must adopt a favorable mood. In the previous verse, Sri Raghunath attained his desired devotional service. But when that vision vanishes, the agony of separation becomes intolerable. Weeping and weeping, he prays. Ai Bhavani, beautiful or emotional girl, when can I diligently bring? Soft clay mixed with camphor along with scented water into your room. Wash your lotus-like feet with a stream of this water and wipe them with my hair. What is the meaning of the address Bhavini? This address is made in the spiritual vision. Swamini is all emotional, and so are her maidservants. I remember Gurudev always in this in that stage of this explanation of this emotional. You know, emotions so being so important in Raga Nuga Bhakti, you would always say, Gurudev, that we we have sometimes been mistaken and to think that we should stop our emotions and stop our feelings for each other or for any kind of you know situation to become like a stone because we like to be maybe equal-minded, or we have some understanding from before that tapasya is the wealth of the brahmana, you know, many things that would stop the emotions. But then after some time also, we found out that this kind of non-emotion is also not really satisfying the soul. And Gurudev would always explain that once he was in a class in South America where there were so many swaminis, uh, swamis, so excuse me, <laughs> swamis, sannyasis, and they would speak about Jesus and we should not be emotional and they don't like Jesus. But then Gurudev took a stand and he said, I like Jesus and I cannot handle that you talk him down here in this assembly and we need to be more emotional. We don't need to be less emotional because also our Chaitanya, our Garanga is so full of emotions, always crying, always trying to feel the emotions of Shimateradika. 
in a very deep way. And uh, it would be a misunderstanding to think to become less emotional is a sign of uh, spiritual advancement. So Swamini is all emotional, and so are her maid servants. Mm. We are also emotional. You see, this is this what is a uh, favorable mood. Yes, favorable. this is this is the meaning of this favorable mood. This is because we are like our Swamini, very emotional. This is. Uh, if you open the treasure, then there are the emotions in the heart, not in the mind and in the false ego. There are only fighting monkey, monkey mind fighting emotions, <laughs> but not loving emotion. Right, Gurudev, monkey mind? Gurudev <laughs> does like this. <laughs> <laughs> so Swamini is all emotional and so are her maidservant Swamini is ecstatic about her lover and the maidservants ecstatically love Swamini so that's a powerful sentence right because we just heard that she Shimati Radhika's form is the glistening thought gem of Mahabhav, and that Mahabhav is for Krishna. It's for her service to him. And the maidservants ecstatically love Swamini, so it would be only logical if we can speak about spiritual logic that the body of Srimati Radhika's maidservants are made from her feelings. For Swamini. Her service attitude for Swamini. So it's a wonderful match. And this cannot be experienced with a scattered mind. So again, Baba is reminding us that all these higher forms of love, of this transcendental love in the spiritual senses it cannot be experienced in a scattered mind but like we often hear it can be experienced in a saintly mind in Adara Sudanidi also there's this one prayer that Guru loves so much when we read it and it began, begins with oh saintly mind I think it's 24 or something so when the mind is becoming more saintly, means more sober, more soft, more dhira, you know, more relaxed and more receiving. And it becomes really like a container ready to be poured with golden love of Swamini. Then it can be experienced. And we can always check it every day doing our homework. Because a scattered mind is always, we know that. I mean, we all have experience of it daily. It's not that it's not there anymore, but it can be less. It becomes less and less and less. Oh, and then again, Baba says, so beautiful, because he was speaking the whole time about mood. And again, he says, it is necessary, therefore, to bring her mood into the heart. So who has the mood of Srimati Radhika? It's the Dasis. And to meditate, what is her mood? Her mood is to always serve and to always, you know, without any... Um, judgment to accept and to always be loving and sweet and very clever in all these uh, wonderful mm -hmm. wonderful uh, qualities of Shimati Radhika they, they are there to meditate on and then to make a heart open that it can receive and that it can stay there 
to bring her mood into the heart. Because Gurudev, you many, many times say that again and again, how Swamini loves her Mohan in the same way a maidservants, we who are aspiring to practice that bhav, we have to love her in the same intensity that she loves Mohan. That is our, our mood. Yes, and the proof is, if we can see in each other's the Krishna or our Swamini, that is the proof is every day in our relationships, because we can check no? what is our mood. We can theoretically say, okay, it is this and that, and uh, yeah, between Radha and Krishna and the Manjaris, but actually we can prove it, how we behave in our daily relationships, especially in our closest relationships, in the um, partnership or with the children. And um, if we can see our Swamini in all of them, this is a very nice training. Uh, how is our uh, 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 standpoint? Where am I? Where is my point? A few. A few or feeling. No. So, and it's very interesting because I think Nityananda, in, in, uh, as a, a general guru, is always testing us. Every day testing. How is our capacity? In a saintly, saintly mind, uh, that we can see others <coughs> in a in a way that is without ego, <coughs> and uh, then we can see: is it that I'm in a soul consciousness or in the state of a soul? Because this is the start. This is the beginning. Or I'm in the false ego and projecting many problems to my partner or to my relate relatives. I think that we can try to um, so everyday training. Observe. No, so that is what I I got now in in Vrindavan, that we have to to see ourselves in our daily relationship, how peaceful is our mind? Is it a monkey who is always looking for some fight? And watch the others that uh, they make something wrong and so that is a good idea to fight. <laughs> I can jump on them and bite them or <laughs> catching them. Or I'm peaceful and see my Swamini, or even Nitai, as a teacher in those I'm related in jobs. And, and so this is very nice meditation, and I'm very happy to get it by the mercy of Gurudev. And I think this is a, everyone can, can check themselves where is my point, where I am. And I can see when we meet Gurudev, this is such a sweet meeting. Not always, sometimes he is also strong, uh, strong but is always in love. Even when he is strong, this is only to, to train us. But love is always there. Sometimes he check our false ego also. And this is very good, and this is our good fortune. And uh, yes, but but the love is with our Gurudev, and he is transferred this to our hearts. And so we have to be there all the time, as much as possible. This is what I got from Trindam. Radhe. Radhe. And who is else here? Is Gopinath, are you still with us? I miss your your advice. No. 
Gopina. Na, 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 na. No. And uh, Radha Charanji, you would like to add anything? Huh? You are sitting there in the basement in Vrindavan. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I, I prefer to hear. Okay. Thank you. Then I will continue reading. <clears throat> So it is necessary, therefore, to bring her mood in the heart. And I just was quickly checking Shishi Radharas Sudanidi, this verse 28. And it says, Manju Swabhavam, this lovely nature. O saintly mind, quickly take shelter of sweet natured Radha, who is like a grove full of wish-yielding wines, who reveals a wonderful abundance of powerful rasika compassion and who is a deep and unbridled nectar ocean of love. So that is also a very beautiful verse to meditate and always read again and again. Radha Rasuda Nidhi 28. <coughs> Something will be understood, Baba says, when the conditions become even slightly favorable and some help is given. So that is also reminding me of Sri Rupa Manjari Pada, Semora Sampada. There also Naratam Das Chako is singing in one line, when will my conditions become favorable? When? That is the good fortune. And here Baba says, something will be understood when the condition, conditions of my life, of my mind, of all my understandings and feelings will become even slightly favorable and some help is given. And he's hinting here to the Goswamis. How wonderful is the Goswami's loyalty to the lotus feet of Shirade. That is the help. Srimad Prabodhananda Saraswati has written in Radha Rasuda Nidhi, verse 78, Nothing else can please my mind than the nectar ras of the maidservanthood of some most amazing jewel of adolescent girls from the outskirts of Vrindavan. Also beautiful, beautiful verse about the mind and how the mind can be pleased by hearing about the nectar rasa of the maidservanthood of the adolescent girls from the outskirts of Vrindavan. It is natural that nothing then pleases the mind anymore. Because Raganuga Bhakti is a mental religion, as Sri Vishwana Chakravati says in Raghavatma Chakrika. There is no necessity of scriptural injunctions. Why? For Loba Eva Pravataka, only sacred creed is the inaugurator. <clears throat> Even the devotees of the Supreme Personality of Godhead cannot experience the beauty of the thoughts of Sri Radha's maidservants. Of the thoughts? Mm -hmm. The beauty of the thoughts of Sri Radha's maidservants, these beautiful thoughts are so unexperienced by those who are living in God consciousness. So that means there, if there are thoughts, there must be also some kind like a, something like a mind, because without a mind, there are no thoughts. So Gurudev, what, what 
kind of thoughts they have. You like to share? Repeat again. Again, it is. Even the devotees of the Supreme Personality of Godhead and do that, not. Again, you say everything. Supreme Personality, Narayan Bhakta. The Narayan Vaikuntha Bhaktas cannot experience the beauty of the thoughts of Sri Radha's maidservants. Yes, how they will understand. Is the Narayan Bhakti, Vaikuntha Bhakti, Dwaraka Bhakti impossible out of their track to understand? No Radha. No Radha any understanding. Wow. <laughs> they try to search in Vrindavan also by Kuntha Bhakti. <laughs> <laughs> How they will understand Radhika? You see, <laughs> they don't want to listen Radhika name. Too good. Too. Big problem. Chai Sachi Nandan. You explain yourself. Yes, good. If I like always to hear it from you. No. Sachi Nandan is. You know, I have to explain this. Sorry, I said no, no. this is such an unknown word. Take, take, take the mic. Now we cannot hear. Maybe you press the wrong now button. We, now you are off. Muted. Muted. Now? Yes. Yeah. You know, I like. Yeah, from second. Uh, I'm not that much. I, I have no right, actually. I'm, uh, I don't deserve to say so much on this uh, very high level topic. And because Especially Gurudev Marci, I, 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 I can try in the presence of your all. Um, Elevated soul. By your mercy, maybe something I can understand, and by understanding, I can express. Actually, it is difficult for the Bakunta ideology. They have difficulty actually because this opulence and so much deeply they gone in this uh, opulence mood. Hmm. It, it it is difficult hmm. because practice become long. Then also the practice increase the habit, and this uh, habituated mind start thinking. But again, this Second. just first spinning it come back again on the same point in the opponent um, resources. So searching is different actually. They don't want to search here in the Braja mood. And Braja mood, they think this is very simple type of common village. So it's like there is everything. They even consider uh, Rama, Lakshmi is also there. So say, oh, there is no difference. Many people say, I, I, I found, I heard. Yes, there is no difference. Lakshmi and Radharani, many times say, they say, but I am. I don't say anything, but in my mind, things run. Then how possible? Lakshmi and Radha can become similar. It's not possible. Not possible. So it's sometimes funny for me that they are saying like that Lakshmi and others. They are all other goddesses. They are connecting because the here Brajeshwari mood is with full of means deep in the Braja. Braja mood. Invented by Brajeshwari. If we say mood of Braja, it directly goes to the Radharani actually. And this, we you all know that what type of mood this is. Right. Means without any 
differences she don't see anything means it is very it's not not possible that except braja what is the mood of radharani someone want prema and this type of the only braja because of radharani durga sat many yeah but by the chanting the in the environment some words are moving around but heart food of heart is not there i will say food of heart is not there in this type of hymns or verses or the chanting if someone want the food of heart or the food of soul is possible in vrindavan because of radharani this little i think and and that's it <laughs> thank you jai ho sachinanda bhai whatever you say is nectar for our ears thank he you he is a jewish <laughs> he knows <laughs> But now he becomes that, the figure <laughs> At the same time, he is a Vaishnava. Jai Ho! Wow, Jewish Vaishnava! Wow, <laughs> this is a I love it much. Dasi of Kadija. Dasi of Dasi. He knows everything. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that way, he realizes. Really, he is a Shiva Bhakta. Yes. I was. <laughs> yeah, he was. Bhakta, very serious, not easy. He is a, he is a, he is a Durga Bhakta. Oh, I lost. <laughs> he lose it. He lost amazing, it. amazing. You see, he was Brahmana. He has to know everything. He knows all that. Uh, um, what is Sanskrit music? Brahman yeah. qualities, you know, to know immediately. Yoga. Wow. All forgotten. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes, ex- and his even when he speak and we listen his voice after we visiting Vrindavan, then only his voice. Bring us back to Vrindavan Gurudev. Oh, you can understand. Yeah. Only hearing your voice will put me in front of Radha Mohan Sachi Bhaiya. Radha. Radha. Thirty percent. It is something. Oh. When he will be hundred percent, he will be very famous person. He will see. Wow. Radha. <laughs> Jaya Jaya Mohana Jai Jai. Wow. <laughs> From the heart. When he starts singing, I want to go, but I cannot move. I oh, uh, myself by listening that. This all happening because of Radharani. She is doing. I. Uh, that's it. <laughs> you are then connected, and this is the, your voice and Radhika become one. And this is when we forget. When Davan only remember your voice, Sachi, then we this voice can bring us back. Yes. Only your voice. Jai Ho. <laughs> so I'm not joking. This is serious. <laughs> serious. Yes, yeah, serious. It's a blessing. You got blessings of Radha Mohan, Sri Radhika. Uh-huh. And here also Baba is confirming why is it so that even the devotees of the Supreme Personality of Godhead cannot experience the beauty of the thoughts of Sri Radhika's maidservant. He says, in the Vaishnava scriptures, the glories of the ekantic or one-pointed devotees are specifically sung. Ekantic. Hmm. Okay. That's why you say you have forgotten everything. Antic means one point. One point. One point. Yeah. Yes, devotees. They are the dasis. It's rare and, to find. 
very rare because many of them are jumping everywhere and we also have been in this category we have been and Srila Rupa Goswami writes in his Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu of all the devotees those one-pointed devotees whose hearts have been stolen by Govinda are the best even the mercy of Trisha, Lord Vishnu, the husband of the goddess of fortune, cannot take their minds away. Mm. But yeah. the one pointed loyalty of Radha's maid servant is even more wonderful than the one pointed loyalty of Krishna's devotees. Jai -ho. This is uh, Rupa Goswami, not us, not me. Rupa Goswami. Don't forget everyone. And why? The one pointed loyalty of Radha's maidservant is even more wonderful than the one pointed loyalty of Krishna's devotees. They do not even want Sri Krishna's grace without that of Radha. <laughs> No. Sorry, what, can, one more time, please. No. They do not even want Sri Krishna's grace without that of Sri Radha. Yeah. They only want Radhika's grace, and if it's you know with or without Krishna, they don't yeah. consider even him. Yeah. They only want his grace if if her grace is there. So their hearts are exclusively surrendered. So she rather slow to speak. Now comes this Tavai Vasmi, Tavai Vasmi, Naji Bami, Tvayavina. I am yours. I am yours only. I cannot live without you. Is the slogan of that proclaims their loyalty to Radha's lotus feet. So we all are. Can you say it again? It came uh, cut. If it really happens, any kind of thing, it's saying Najivami. If this becomes. No voice, no voice. I mean, I say it's a very big thing. Don't ask me. To, to oh. come about, yes, I understand you. If we are at that level. Mm -hmm. I cannot live without you. Sachin Nandan Bhaya, no? That's what you said, that if it comes about, if it's happening in my life, then this is our good fortune. Are they? Are they? Yes? You're listening to me? Yes. Yeah, now it's better. Hello? Yes. My voice? Uh, okay. Uh, this I mean to say, this uh, verse, Tavai ask me, Tavai ask me, Na Jivami Toya Bina. So we all are, I think, this is my Gurudev is here. He can explain also. But I think we are all practicing for this verse. Only ask me, you are there. Na jivami toya bina. So if it starts happening in life, that like uh, if I close, if I close my nose, and without the what happens is this in if it's coming by saying ask me the way ask me na jiva me to have been it's only you only you are there without life is nothing Means you are the only last hope. 
means after this i don't want to see here and there anywhere only you you and you ittai devam namam charanantikam and your lotus feet your lotus feet is my last destination now so there is no other way from here there is no reverse from here there is no reverse i cannot go and i don't see anything else that is there that can save me with this uh, happening all the time one birth, birth after another so if it is really it starts happening for this we are praying for this we are here in vrindavan and for this we want from radha rani means want means we are praying because she is ours we are hers that's why also it's very important when gurudev was saying when sunidhi was saying that the vaikuntha varies and those who are in aishwari above it's very very fortunate for us because they don't they didn't get the mercy of uh, raganuga and devotees so we are so fortunate that we got the mercy the kripa of uh, raganuga sadaka of raganuga guru so we can understand the sweetness of of vrindavan and the sweetness of the lotus feet of swamini this is only possible by the kripa of a, of a, of someone who has the same the same love in the heart so therefore why why aishwarya and vaikunta loka they have not this uh, entrance because they never got the opportunity to receive that mercy we have we have this mercy right now and we should do our best because we are so fortunate that we have this beautiful beautiful kripa from from raganuka mahajans so and we can follow that so that is a huge difference because they think they can do it by practice by by doing uh, tapasya and doing knowledge and and their own endeavor but raganuka bhakti is not by own endeavor raganuka bhakti is by mercy all is by mercy so this is the huge huge difference and our huge huge fortune Jai Ho, I would read it again. <clears throat> of all the devotees, those one pointed devotees whose hearts have been stolen by Govinda are the best. even the mercy of shrisha lord vishnu the husband of the goddess of fortune cannot take their minds away and the one point loyalty of radha's maid servant is even more wonderful than the one pointed loyalty of krishna's devotees they do not even want shri krishna's grace without that of radha Yo, see that it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it Prabodha Nanda Saraswati who says that without worshiping Radha, the worship of Govinda is failure? I think it's either in Radha Rasulamidi or the Villa Pukusumanchali. Those who worship Govinda without worshiping the lotus feet of Radhika are only doing something which is not correct. <laughs> You know, this is the mercy of Ananta Baba Ji Maharaj, who compiled like this. Mm. This is this mercy in his head that they have. Every word is the golden word. Radha Dasyam wealth. Wealth. Wealth of Radha Dasyam. <laughs> Only two books you need in the life. <laughs> Radha Nita Radha Rasulani Ji, and second book is a Vila Kusumanjali for Thai Bhav. Even what is the last book of uh, uh, Rupa Goswami? Utkali Kavala Ji. 
संचारी उट दुरु एक्सप्लेन and that is vilap kusum manjari and that is the very beautiful and highest book for the keeping of saiva and this book is the phd of our bhakti rasik shastra By your mercy, good. If we are churning it now, I don't know for how many years. No, no, no. I have, I have nothing at first. <laughs> the mercy of Guru Dev and Ananda Baba Ji, who show me this way, and mercy of Prabhupada. After traveling everywhere, I realize this is everything will become crystal clear. Read Bhagavad Gita, Prabhupada. What you don't understand, you will start understanding. This is the Bilap Kusuman. Any book, honestly, I travel whole world. I never read any book and prepare any slok. I don't know even now. Akshat Dharitvana Samastha Sastre. No need. If. राघुनाथ दास कैन नॉट टॉलरेट इवन द आइडिया ऑफ वर्शिपिंग Shri Krishna, without Shri Radha, in his Swaniya Nashaka, he has written, "Not even for a moment I will go near that impure place where a proud hypocrite worships Govinda alone, while neglecting or disrespecting." It is said impure. Impure, yes, he says impure. Oh my God! Very hard words, my. <laughs> yeah, very hard. This is very intimate words. <laughs> When he is very <laughs> strict. Having little hard, but uh, and practice intimate. Not even for a moment I will go near that impure place where a proud hypocrite worships Govinda alone, while neglecting or disrespecting. His most expert lover, Sri Gandava Radha. So now we know why he is our Prayotan Acharya. <laughs> yeah. Now we know. Now we why know. He's a quite Ekanda, fanatic. Ekanda Bhav. Very, very straight. So nice. And then Baba says, "You know what Baba says about this? After this, quoting this, he says." Whoever carries Radha's lotus feet in the heart has such a beautiful mind. <laughs> uh, as we can see with Gurudev and Baba, only that mind is pure. Yes, exactly. Mm. Radhe Radhe. Jai Gorabani Ji. I just thought why why it is called impure actually I I just remember the words of Guru Dev he once told me that actually people who worship Krishna they are worshiping Bhagavan. 
means six opulences. He is the most richest, the most well-known person, the most, and so on. So they want something from this opulences. That's why they serve him. Like a child is going to the father and wants something from the richness of the father, and that's why the child is serving the father. But a person who is going to the mother, what this person can expect? If someone is going to Radharani, what he can expect? Some richness? Some good qualities? No. Radharani is Mahabhav, and whatever you can get there is Mahabhav, the most purest kind of love. So if someone is going to Radharani, he has to understand that actually you can only get this from her. Her seva to Krishna is so pure. And only this you can get from her. Nothing else, actually. That's why a Radhadasi is most pure. And a person who serves Krishna, he still wants something from his opulences. Although it is a fact. And that's why the persons actually cheat themselves. The fact is, Sarva Lakshmi is the source of all good qualities. The six opulences are not Krishna's. They are coming from Sarva Lakshmi. That's Radha's potency. So Radharani is actually the source of the good qualities of Krishna. So even if someone wants to have this, he should be better go to Radha. But this person do not understand. Because a child who is going to Mama gets everything. Also the opulences of Papa, if required. Because love is serving everything, isn't it? Because it's full. I just oh, yeah. maybe, maybe he didn't say in the same words, but this was the <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Yes, Radharani's glories are always welcome from any kind of vision and perspective and feeling here. Not even for a moment I will go near that impure place where a proud hypocrite worships Govinda alone while neglecting and disrespecting his most expert lover, Sri Gandavika Radha, whose glories are sung by the Vedic scriptures, and great sages like Narada Muni, who carries the Veena. This is my solemn vow, says Raghunath Goswam in his vow, Niyama Dapshaka. One thing I want to say, Time is near, and I want to introduce you, Shiva Prada. Now, from today, Tadun uh, Baba also know him. Say, can you stand and show yourself? Yeah, sit in this stool. Yeah. No, me at the Radhe Radhe. Now we see you. <laughs> Radhe Radhe Shiva Prada. <laughs> and and Gorvani also no. And Tarun Baba. Show. Little bit space show. Ah. Yeah. There's some celebration here. Just, um, yeah, yeah. You can, you can, you can sit near. Yeah, yeah. Come, come. Come. You can sit near. You come, come beside. He will sit there. Yeah. He will sing one poem. Yeah, Radhe. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Today is a marriage of. Ananda Mai and Dayanidhi Mahababa. Jai Ho, my God, they're coming. There is the divine couple. Wow. Uh, 
Mama. Mama. Oh, Mama Patricia. Come here. Yeah. Um. All blessings to the divine. Open everyone, bhai. Are Open our camera, yeah. <laughs> Why not open? Congratulations, all the best, Radhe Radhe. Thank you. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe, dear friends, all blessings and love. Uh, okay. You look very good and happy. Oh my God. So nice. Now, no, sing one poem. No, Shiva Prada will sing one poem. Prada will sing. No, he's a Radha Kripa Kadak. Oh, wow. The Radha Kripa Kadak. <laughs> Siva give this Radha Kripa Kadak. Thank you again, Radhe Radhe. How many minutes? How many minutes? 59. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. And loud we have to say. Oh, Radhe Radhe, my dears. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Finally, I got the mercy of uh, Guru Dev. I mean, a final mercy. I got the mercy even before. But now, final mercy, he discovered my Swarup yesterday and changed my name. I Finally, I got uh, some Rasik name. Uh, uh, Radha Kripa uh, Kataksha, actually, that is my name, what she, what she gave us. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> so, thank you very much. So, by the mercy of all you, even uh, I am who am beginner, actually, in Radha Dasya, my God, the mercy by 
listening you, actually listening what you speak and listening your hearts, your unique hearts who are, your hearts are hearts like one heart actually who beating like one uh, in Radhika, like Radhika heart and uh, you actually gave me this, uh, this emotion, this understanding so that I can, uh, can be in your association. So that's everything what I can to say. Very beautiful name and it will also make us eager to listen more and more from your heart poems. Radha Kripa Kataksh, what else to say? It will come by the mercy of Radhika, of her merciful glance on you. So keep us enlightened and keep us warmed. <laughs> okay. Good. You want to read? Something? Yeah, yeah, read. Yeah, quick. Actually, I uh, have a new poem. I read it already to uh, Guru Dev. Uh, I didn't exercise because it's translated uh, recently. You know, I I don't know. Can I read it uh, in a proper way? Maybe some old song called to try with these uh, new ones, whatever you want. Anyway, I will. Read. Yes, read. Just read what you have. Okay, I I will re read this. There is two ones, uh, two two uh, new. So I will read it, and uh, because it's the freshest one, and then I will try. Okay. Yes, this is last one. Uh, uh, its name is uh, the sweet taste of your name. O Radhe Radhe, your name is spoken with tenderness. When I mention it, I feel the taste of mead. With sweetness, it intoxicates and the heart asks for more and more. It is always thirsty and eager to, for that drunkenness. The one that uh, bats the heart in a pure love. O Vilasini, I see your splendor everywhere. You are in the drop of clear water that I hold in my palm, and I offer it the sun to paint you with rainbow colors. O Sunetre, you are an ocean of beauty that has no end. Here rises the horizons and splashes the infinities. O Rade, your feet are imprinted on my heart. They walk on it. And the more they walk, the wider and softer it is. Love is woven into every print. And I would like to serve you with it. Tell me how. Because that love hurts. It hurts until it turns into battle leaves that I offer you on a plate and you are on a bed of flowers in a hidden kunja of Rindavan forest. The monsoon cloud has lowered his head on your lap. He smiles at you assecutedly with a rosy look and restless lips. They would say something, but he can't. Your beauty leaves him breathless. Your lips are silent as well. What you would say with your lips, you write with curls, which falls restlessly on his all attractive face. It is a love conversation through touch and sight. And for that sight, one breaths, leaves and dies. That image is that sparkle in the eyes which are worn by all who have surrendered their hearts to you, O Radhe. And those eyes are not in the color of this world. A new being is looking through them. A sweet little girl who offers you a golden crown on her palms because you are her queen whom she would like to serve because she, she don't know anything else. 
you are the whole virtuous world and her every thought flies towards you she always sees color colorful butterflies who write your name in the air with their wings and then she accepts accepts those words on her palms and gently places them on your face and when she says oh my swamini the beams of the sun dance on it oh devi when will my eyes become pure as mountain crystals that there is nothing in them but the moonlight from your face when will my hands place sandals of flowers on your tender feet oh when will pure love flow from my heart why i do everything for your pleasure oh dear strada so that's it last one yeah. Yeah.